Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love, romance, matters of the heart. This is going to be a general tarot reading guys so please just be mindful of that. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what's going on with Pisces. Okay the six of swords here. Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Empress energy. Okay, Pisces. Now, with the Six of Swords energy, to me, I get a strong sense that you're experiencing a transition of some kind. Okay, um, some of you could be on your way to moving on. Um, or leaving something behind or you're trying to distance yourself away from something okay now this is something that i feel like has caused you a lot of or is still causing you a lot of emotional turmoil could be a certain situation with a certain energy could be like a relationship could be a situation ship could be a certain romantic energy here but i feel like it's almost like you know much like the um figure depicted in the image here it's almost like you know that you have to flee the situation um it's for the better here, Pisces. It's because you're moving towards a future without them that looks a little bit more promising. So for some of you, there may still be feelings involved for this person. And maybe this is someone whom you all whom you'll always have a soft spot for. But I feel like the the energy of the Six of Swords and the fact that it is, you know, governed by the element of air tells me that this is a strong power of a rational mind. So for a lot of you, you have given the situation a lot of thought. Notice the repetition of the Six of Swords. This is something that I feel like has continued to trouble you, okay? And this person or this energy, this situation or this relationship, I feel like um, has, yeah, has caused you quite a lot of emotional pain here. But despite the sadness of this energy with the Six of Swords, I feel like a lot of you are at a place where you're ready to move on. Or if not, at the very least, I feel like you're heading towards that direction here. Okay, and this transition or this moving on energy is because a lot of you Pisceans have made up your mind. Okay, and once you make up your mind and once you truly make up your mind, a lot of the times I feel like there's no going back from that. So, you know, despite your sadness from moving on from the situation of this person, I do feel like it's the, you know, it's the most ideal option for you here. Okay, with the Six of Swords energy. And some of you, you might even feel like you're being forced. Okay, you feel like maybe life is forcing you to let go of, you know, things or people that you have become attached to. But understand that the energies tell me that it's for the better here, Pisces. Now, with the Page of Swords energy, I'm, I feel like there is someone here, not the Page of Swords, sorry, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's... A message that comes in here for you guys I don't know if this is somehow connected with this energy that you're trying to escape and you're trying to flee or I don't know if the if it's the universe that's actually trying to send you a message a sign or a symbol to let you know that you're on the right path here but I feel like to me with the page of Pentacles this is an energy that feels like you're protected okay you're protected or you're very focused here as well Now, it, this could also represent a person who comes into your life, okay? And it could signal, for some of you, this could be someone new who comes into your life. And funny how that happens once you've made the decision to move on from something. So essentially, a lot of you Pisceans, without even knowing, you're, you're creating room in your life for new energies to enter. And this person, this energy that does come into your life, feels as if they're very loyal, very ambitious, very dedicated, and very uh, committed here. And if it's not an actual energy that's entering your life here, I feel like with the pages, the energy that I get here, it's it's symbolic of your loyalty, your commitment and your dedication, dedication, sorry, to relationships and to, you know, um, partnerships here. Now, with the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Wands, for a lot of you, I feel like there is a fresh start, okay? You're starting all over again here. Uh, but starting over again, I feel like, means that you have to leave something behind. Because essentially, it's this person or this thing that you're leaving behind 
that's allowing you for a fresh start here. Aces are all about new beginnings and they indicate one is about to experience a breakthrough of some sort. And for a lot of you, that is exactly what's coming in for you, Pisces. It's, it's like a breakthrough that gives you emotional and mental clarity. It's like um, the sword here, right, represents the sharpness of the mind, of the intellect. So a lot of you, I feel like all you have to do is sort of make up your mind, okay? There is some things that I feel like you're still stuck on, okay, Five of Cups here. Or there is some energies that you're still very much fixated on. And look, these people, this energy or this very relationship or this connection or the situation that you seem to be stuck on. I don't know that there is a future, okay, with this person or there's a future here. But I feel like a lot of you are, are stuck. And the reason why you're stuck is you haven't made up your mind to move on. For a lot of you, you will be in that that very powerful position where once you make up your mind and you actually commit to your decision to move on from this person, to cut ties with this person, you'll be all the better for it, okay? Because for a lot of you, I feel like the reason why you're finding it so hard to move away from this person is because you haven't made up your mind yet, Pisces. And a lot of the times a Pisces can be very indecisive here. So I feel like if you rise to the occasion, if you make up your mind here, and if you actually stick to it, I do feel like, you know, you will see that breakthrough that some of you, I feel like, um, are being wanting here. I'm also seeing that there is some sort of important conversation, okay? I don't know if it's an important conversation that you're going to be having with this energy that you need to cut ties with, but I feel like it's an important conversation that's going to be extremely rewarding and extremely successful for you. Okay, so for a lot of you, there's going to be a breakthrough that will result from this communication, from this conversation. For others of you, I feel like there's new beginnings. Now, you might, okay, for some of you, I feel like there just may be well, this is for a small handful of you. There just may be a new beginning with this person, okay? But if you are going to start, you know, if you're going to reach for this fresh emotional start, I really feel like you have to, you can't fix or repair this connection in the same energy in which things broke off in the first place for the two of you. So starting over literally means starting from scratch, okay? Clean slate is what I'm seeing for some of you. But I, I do feel, I like this conversation because for a lot of you, it might not even lead to a new beginning, okay? It may just be an important conversation that takes place here, Pisces, may just be what you need to move on, okay? Um, some of you, I feel like it's going to lead to a greater harmony between the two of you, or even like within yourself here, Pisces, okay? Because a lot of the times you you are at war here internally you're, you're being represented by a set of two different fish as per your zodiac sign one is constantly swimming upstream okay away from the real world the other one is downstream you know towards the real world and there's this constant tug of war for you guys so a conversation and that takes place and this conversation might not even be with anyone else it may just be a conversation you have with yourself brings you a lot more clarity and harmony, which I like. And in many ways, I feel like opens up new doors and new opportunities and new beginnings. Five of Cups, some of you, I feel like, are stuck on a situation that you might need moving on from. And even though you might have cut ties with this person or you might try your best to move on, look, there's still going to be lingering emotions from what I can see. There's still going to be lingering feelings. I mean, Pisces often can be very... You guys can be a little bit, I guess... How do I say this? Um, and I feel like it's an art. It truly is an art and it's a gift. But a lot of the times Pisceans can sometimes, you know, be very dramatic when it comes to love and romance. And some of you, I feel like you may be attaching yourself to a certain energy or to a certain connection that I feel like has dwindled out a long time ago. But the possibility of romanticizing it and idolizing it and, you know, futurizing it for you is very enticing here. So you're holding on to something what could have been. If it would have been Pisces, it would have. If it could have been, it would have. Okay, so some of you, I feel like you need to stop romanticizing a person or a situation. And that's going to help you with moving on because you're going to be able to see things clearly. And again, that might just, you know, help you in having that honest conversation with yourself as well. And that just might just bring about all these different changes that honesty that clarity that transparency that you have with yourself or with this connecting energy now with the empress i do feel like you're um you're attracting an abundance of new beginnings for a lot of you pisceans 
I do feel like you're in a very strong position here. But some of you, I feel like what you really, the message that I get for you, Pisces, is that you need to make up your mind about a certain someone or about a certain situation. Because I feel like right now, to me, you're in limbo, okay? Um, some of you keep looking back to the past. And if you keep looking back to the past, you cannot possibly move on from uh, you you can't move on with something or someone here because you keep glancing back to the past so it's important to you know if you do want to cut ties with someone it's important that you go ahead and take action okay you cut ties don't just think one day i'm going to cut ties and one day i'm going to remove this person from you know my life if this person is no longer serving a purpose if this person is weighing you down emotionally mentally physically then it's important you do remove this you know energy from your life because if they're not doing a service to you they're doing a disservice to you so i feel like you'll be fine pisces so as long as you make up your mind and you commit to it i feel like you'll be fine okay guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now